Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sadie and today I'm finally doing a look using the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar third year anniversary collection. I was so lucky enough that literally the fucking day that he announced it that he put me on his PR and I honestly sobbed but if you watch my unveil video which I'll link up here I'll tell you the whole story but yeah I'm finally playing around with all of the collection and giving you guys an insight and a nice little tutorial so yeah if you'd like to see how I've done this look then keep on watching and before you go please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy watching Jeffree Star reviews tutorials then you know you know you know where to hit I'm legit sweating doing this but we're gonna get on with it we're gonna get on with it my hair's doing my head in but we're gonna get on with it so what I'm playing with today is blood sugar which is this is one of the original ones this is the first one that came out on beauty bay when it came out and I'm gonna use the mini because we know we're gonna have to use that wisdom shade 100% on the lid oh I need a swatch to and I'm so excited also I do have the limited edition one um I'm gonna do swatch compares but I uh, sort of don't want to touch it um, I collect all of his palettes so like this to me is just like something I don't want to touch but we'll see how I feel in a little bit but yeah I'm just going to use my original eyeshadow palette. Most of the colours I actually want to use are in here and the odd two in the actual original blood sugars. Okay so I am primed with P. Louise base on my eyelids and I'm going to take a Zoeva Luxe Smoky Shader Brush and I'm going to take the shade Coma from the Mini which is this beautiful deep purple shade and I don't know what I'm doing. Still, I don't know what I'm doing. This normally happens. I never plan a look. I just sit here and I'm like, meh. I mean, sometimes I get a rough idea, but it is what it is. So I'm basically gonna pop that on my outer corner and just make a little triangle as well while I'm there. Also, can we just talk about this mirror? I don't have any of his soft matte ones. I've just got the Blow Pony one and two of the Shane Dawson ones. And I love this. And the gradient is so fucking nice. So nice. It's so nice to hold. I love these mirrors so much for actually doing my makeup in. Oh my god, I love this shade so much. I love blood sugar because it's so complimentary to my eye colour. I've got quite bottle green eye at an eye colour so it goes really fucking nice. Do I just go all the way in? No, I think I'm going to stop here and I'm just going to blend upwards a little bit. Okay then on a Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush, which is a really pretty domed brush, I'm going to take the shade Cherry Soda, which is this beautiful matte red, and I'm basically going to blend out that coma shade. I'm so sorry, I'm really fucking tired, like, I haven't had much sleep today from my night shift, so um, I'm probably not going to be able to speak the best. I just can't believe I like own this collection. I find it just fucking mental now. You know, just having people I know being like, oh my god, your fucking dream has come true, and I'm like, I know. Okay, so I've placed cherry cola down now. No, cherry cola, cherry soda, sorry. Okay, then I'm taking a Morphe M506 and I'm actually going to take the shade Cavity from the original Blood Sugar and I'm basically going to blend over that cherry soda shade. I love this pink so much. I can't wait to put this on my lips as like an actual lip colour. Oh, because it's in the vault. It's so exciting. Okay, I know this looks a bit mental, but I normally stamp the colours on first, then I'll blend in a little bit better later, so it always looks like a bit of a block of colour. Um, and this is like my favourite style to do makeup, just like the big wing fuck off smoky eye like. So I'm basically just going to redo those steps again and just take a little bit better patience with blending the colours. Okay. 
Okay, now that I've blended that to what I'm happy with, I actually went bigger than I wanted to, but we're here. I'm not fucking taking it off to do another look. I, I'm i absolutely melting. I'm so sweaty. Jesus. These are great for fans. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly cut my crease and be right back. Okay, so now that I've done that, um, I did just blend my finger in with the edge, obviously, so it didn't went blunt line. And I'm going to take a comber again and just go back over my outer corner and blend in a bit better to my cut crease. Okay, now that I've done that, I think the exciting bit is now coming. I'm actually going to go into the shade Wisdom. I haven't even swatched this yet. My nails look so bad. My nail lady literally messaged me today and she's like, we're back up and running soon. Do you want to book an appointment? And I'm like, I can't. I'm why my camera focusing. Because I am a healthcare assistant, so I mean, I might get just like short ones done, but I can't be asked to also paint them either, so it is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to swatch the shade Wisdom and I sort of don't want it because I really like the tip of imprint, but Okay, here we go. Oh my god. I've been waiting for this. Oh my god. Yes. Look at that. Oh my god. Yes. I'm so ready for this. Um, I'm just going to go with my finger first. I'm going to put this in my middle. Uh, in the middle of the lid. <sighs> so pretty. It's got like this beautiful gold reflect but it's still really pretty and red and it's got like a pinky base to it as well it's just heaven okay so i'm just gonna get a flat brush now it's just a spectrum brush to really get up to the top of the crease and make it really nice and crisp and sharp oh it's so dreamy oh my god Okay, there's a tiny bit of fallout, but that's my fault because one, I actually haven't wet this brush at all. This is what it is by itself. And I didn't tap off any excess because I really wanted this color to like punch on there. So it's fine, I've put a little bit of powder down anyway. Um, I'll emphasize on that a little bit more and tidy it up. I'm just gonna go in with another brush. Um, I'm gonna use the shade Prick out of the mini. Um, I'll be honest, um, I wasn't a fan of the shade Prick in my original Blood Money, no, nope, Blood Sugar, because it actually has a hard pan on it. So. I have felt the difference in them and this one is 100% more creamier so obviously I've got a really look the old version mine's like three years old so obviously if the formula has updated itself I don't know because obviously I haven't bought another one but this one definitely feels a lot more creamier than the original and I'm basically gonna put this in the inner corner part now I think maybe I might have just had like a, a dodgy palette I don't know Yeah, again, fall up, but that's my fault because I didn't tap off the excess. I really wanted this to like really, really stand out and pack a punch. I'm just going to blend that Wisdom shade in just a little bit better and then I'll put comb over it as well, just to blend it. Okay, so for the bottom part of my eyes, I'm going to go in with comer again and I'm just going to line it underneath. And actually with that Morphe M506, I'm actually going to take the shade Root Canal, which is just beautiful purple i mean oh i love this purple so much it's so stunning and i'm gonna blend comb out using a root canal okay so i'm gonna take a more highlighter style brush for my brow bone so i'm taking a still either detail shade brush and i'm gonna take the shade glucose and pop that on my brow bone Is that just not the best white you have ever seen? Ugh. And then I'm going to go back in with that Morphe M506, take off the excess and go back in with Cavity just to blend it in a little bit better. So as you can see I just get that really nice little pop of white under my brow bone but Cavity is still blended out to filth. But that same as the brush, the small one, I'm going to take the shade Sweetener and I'm basically going to place it in the bottom inner corner part of my eye. Then I'm going to take the shade Candy Floss and use that as my inner corner highlight. Oh, I forgot how pretty this shade is. Okay, I feel like I need to add something in the waterline and I don't know what. Should I use Cavity for the waterline? 
I think I might do that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use Cavity for the waterline because I like to use Jeffree Star in my waterline. I bought breakfast at Tiffany's so I use my waterline. I've used it as eyeliner on top as well because they are really, they are eye safe so they're really, really nice. Also, this is the first time having the minis and this is so fucking cute. They're so cute to put in your handbag. <laughs> So I've popped some of that on my hand. I'm gonna get an eyeliner brush and pop some in my waterline. Okay, so I'm just gonna go off camera now. I'm gonna do a wing liner and put some lashes on. I'm gonna do the other side and I'll come back and we put a lippy on together. Okay, so now that I have finished my eye look, which I absolutely fucking love, um, I forgot about this bad boy. We were gonna try this out. So this is the Cavity Skin Frost Highlighting Palette and I fucking mean, the shades are absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to get candy frost on my face, um, ice and ivy, and uh, maybe maybe a bit of frozen prick I might actually put on as well. As you can see, I've just done my bronzer and contour, so I'm ready. I've got a bit of highlight in like, my areas because I just forgot, um, but I didn't put it on any of my cheekbones. Okay, so I think what I'm actually gonna do is grab a, oh, sorry. Didn't drop them up. Oh, I'm gonna grab a Morphe R36. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Frozen Prick first. Oh my god. Oh, whoa, that's so cool. Oh, that's like a fire fucking colour. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, get it on me, get it on me. Or do I wanna go in with this as well? That's beautiful. Which is rose cold. So I'm gonna take a bit of Frozen Prick. Oh my god. Kinda scared. But I'm kind of looking forward to it. It's gone a little bit more pink yet. It looks a bit orange on my camera, actually. But we shall have a go. Oh my god, it doesn't do it justice. Oh, there it is. I've got so much fucking texture on my face. It's ridiculous. Oh my god, that's stunning. Wow. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. I'm in love. Oh my, oh my god. It's, it literally, from the front, it looks like I have a blush on. And then it's like, boom, it's like highlighter. When I saw this on the, um, oh my god, fucking hell. Lose my voice. When I saw this on the review video, I really thought of like, um, NARS Orgasm. It sort of has that vibe to it as well, but this thousand times better oh my god i am obsessed oh my god i'm gonna use this palette forever oh my god it goes so nice on the face this is literally like um and when i was watching the video i also thought it looked like it's like a hybrid if you think of it because it's like a blush and a highlighter at the same time but it's not overpowering like a normal standard highlighter. Let's say if I put like ice and ivy on my face. Wow. Oh my god. I love it. I'll oh, put some on my nose as well. I'm going to be that bitch. I am honestly fucking deceased over this. Oh my god. I just want to put more on. Let's go for it. Fuck it. Love, 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 love. Actually, I was gonna put more on as well. Uh, I think I was gonna take another brush. Let's take a Morphe, uh, what are these, Y14. And I think I'm gonna take the shade Candy Frost. I put a bit on top. Oh my god, I love, I love, I love. And I'm gonna take another one and I'm gonna take Ice in Ivy and I'm gonna put that as like my normal highlight areas everywhere. Ice in Ivy has like this um, sort of slight pink duochrome-ness to it. Oh my god, I am in love. Um, this, this is fucking amazing. Literally, you can see it from straight on. It looks like a blush, and then you go, it's, it's a highlight at the same time. I'm gobsmacked. I just want to add more. Oh my god, I'm in love. Ah! Okay, now that I have discovered my new fucking favorite product ever, 
Um, I'm going to put a lippy on. I've picked out the shade Forbidden Fruit because I just feel like this will go really well with it. Or I might go with a red. Mm. No, I'm going to go with Prick. I'm going to go with Prick. I mean, it's fitting, right? Do you know what? Now that I've put this on, I love it, but I want it to still be dark. It's sort of like the eye look where it goes a bit more ombre. So I'm going to actually figure out another colour I'm going to use first. I'm going to put Forbidden Fruit on and then I'm going to prick in the middle like an ombre. Oh my god, I almost dropped that. Can I just say this colour alone? I'm fucking obsessed with this. Okay, now I'm just going to pop prick in the middle just to create this like ombre effect. When I tell you, I love this lip combo. Oh my god. I feel amazing. I absolutely love this look. Okay, let's zoom you out and give you my final thoughts. So there you have it guys, here's the finished look. I honestly, I am in love. I've always loved blood sugar, but like this wisdom shade, this is no diss, but I don't understand how this shade was never put in the original before but it makes this anniversary next fucking level and all the other products involved as well. This lip combo I'm obsessed with. I, oh God, I just forget how much I love red. Absolutely love red lipstick with my hair color. I don't, I, I don't understand when people say they don't like red. I'm like, bitch, it's amazing. You, it's so fucking pretty. I think it goes really well with the eyes where I wanted the red and a little bit more of the deeper purple. They just work out so well together. They blend beautifully together. I mean, if you all know, Jeffree Star Valor Liquid Lips are my absolute favourite lip liquid lipsticks and lipsticks anyway. I literally don't wear any other ones. It's a very rare occasion that I don't actually have a Jeffree lip lipstick on. So I just want to say, once again, thank you fucking so much, Jeffree, for giving me this opportunity and the JRC team. Honestly, it the package came so quickly. I'm in absolute fucking love. I'm going to cry again. Hold on. Thank you so much. Um, it means the absolute world to me, like, honestly. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this isn't my reveal. I actually have another video up, which I will link up here, for you to watch me swatch everything and unveil everything in the whole collection. So please, before you go, don't forget to subscribe and give me a nice big thumbs up and also follow me on Instagram. That would help me out a lot. If you love watching Jeffree Star reviews and makeup tutorials, this is what I'm here for. Hope to see you in the next video, guys. Bye.